God, Sando, what are you finding there? What can you tell us? I'm finding a little bit of cross swimming in here amongst the bees, but right there. Oh, careful. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. I'm just helping out this way. And at the bottom. So, what we've got here is wonderful storage of nectar and some capped honey at the top here. We've got a little, a few pods with some pollen in. No eggs, brood, or larvae Sorry, in this. This needs to just be repaired here. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, I would just like to recommend before you continue, hold that frame out. Yep. Always remove one frame that has no workers on it mm -hmm. so that well, you've got space is, to move. There's one behind me. Okay. Alright, there you go. Now, oh, being honey and nectar, is that the most outer frame? That's the second most outer frame. Second most outer frame, okay. Now, this is interesting. Uh, this hive has got, the frame is marked with a number. What some beekeepers do is they actually mark each frame uh, so that they can remember in which order they've been or, or sometimes they put the year on it, the year that it's been put in, just so that they can track how often they're changing out their frames. So uh, we don't do that, but it is something interesting if, uh, if you're interested in how often you're changing out frames or how long the brood frame has been utilized by the queen, uh, it can be quite interesting to get that info from there. I think more on the hobbyist, uh, hobbyist yeah, line, hey? yeah, the, the commercial line you haven't really got time, and, time to do that type yes, of exactly. intense management. We've got All some right. eggs that are about two days old here, they've already gone and lied down. Two or three days, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's starting to say wachebikki, Zander. Okay, when you're moving the frames like that, be careful. This one's not yeah. right through the wire, so it might bend. But all of these hives are kind of in a, in a position of stagnating. Because there's very little resources available, uh, they're basically just hanging on and doing the bare minimum until such time as there's enough food available. So uh, it's very important to make sure that you give them resources that they need. Uh, we'll be putting out a sugar supplement starting Monday. And uh, like I said, we're putting pollen patties in now. Uh, when it gets cold, hive beetle becomes a huge problem in hives. So uh, that's why we've got our little uh, cloths on standby. And any hive that has uh, some hive beetle in, we're going to place these on top of the frames. Um, also, hive beetle becomes, uh, it gets even worse when you're putting a pollen patty in. So you need to make sure once you've put a pollen substitute on your next inspection, you must clean the bottom of the hive so that any little debris of pollen that's fallen uh, can be removed. Otherwise, that'll cause hive beetle even worse going into the summer months. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Cool.